So one thing I've been doing that's been a game changer is I, I visualize and I picture my perfect day. What would have had to happen? What do I need to complete? How many pages of my book do I need to read? Is it a workout? So I don't know if you can relate, but no matter what I accomplish, what I get done, what I earn, what I do, I feel like it's, it's not good enough. I still have anxiety and I want more but I also am working to be fulfilled and be present with the family. So it's this constant struggle. And one thing I realized recently that was a pretty big perspective shift was if I don't get certain things done during the day, I get anxiety and it causes me to be uh, triggered easy and frustrated. And I'm only sharing this because somebody out there might be feeling the same way. And I started realizing that if I didn't get a certain amount of things done or I didn't do a certain amount of task in the day, I was stressed, but I never actually defined what my ideal day was. Like, okay, what would make you happy if this is how your day went? So not having your ideal day plan puts me in a lose-lose because no matter what I do, it's not good enough or I'm still stressed. So one thing I've been doing that's been a game changer is I, I visualize and I picture my perfect day. What would have had to happen? What do I need to complete? How many pages of my book do I need to read? Is it a workout? Is it my uh, green drink so I feel healthy? Is it spending at least a couple hours with my son in the morning? Is it uh, getting a video a day done? If you define what your ideal day is and then get rid of expectations because the more expectations you have, the less happy you'll be. If you just live presently and in the moment and plan your day. And let's say, here's the catch. If you don't hit those ideal day tasks, don't be too tough on yourself. Say it'll happen tomorrow. You have to admit when you're not in the zone. You have to admit when you're not focused that you'll be back in the zone soon. I used to beat myself up when I wasn't in the zone or when I wasn't motivated because I thought I always had to be and I was always stressed out. Now, if I'm not in the zone, if I don't feel like creating content, if I'm not like focused, I say, well, I'll be in the zone again soon. And it really lowers your stress and allows you to be present, but plan your day. What does your ideal day look like? When you get up, visualize. What is your state of mind? What's the first thing you do? What has to happen for you to be completely satisfied and excited? And then do it for your weeks. If you start investing your previous experience, investing your previous mistakes and successes into your future preparation, into your future perspective, it's a lot easier because you're now improving and you're not comparing yourself to anybody except who you were the day before and the week before. Then you don't let too much time go by without checking. So at the end of the day, I always ask myself what went well today and what can I improve on? In the morning, I always ask myself, what am I grateful for? What am I excited about? And what am I committed to making happen no matter what? Just a different way to live. I, I see so many people working like chickens with their heads cut off, they're grinding, they're hustling, they're all over the place to get to a certain destination that they didn't even want in the first place. So I think enjoying and respecting the journey and setting milestones along the way and not comparing yourself to anybody because comparison is a thief of joy and the ultimate misery, comparing yourself to who you were the day before is just a more fulfilling way to live and you'll find out not only is it more fulfilling, you're more productive, you get more done and you feel good about it, right? So I'm going through these journeys with you. So uh, it, it's been good to continue to work on myself, my perspective, my productivity, my mood, because the ultimate failure is massive success with no fulfillment, right? And feeling good is, is a huge, huge focus that most people really don't understand the importance of. I'm going to the chiropractor right now just because I know taking care of my body affects my mind and how I am as a dad, a husband, a son, a friend, a mentor, a coach, a leader. So everything affects everything. Hope this helps. I appreciate you guys. Let me know your thoughts below and uh, until next time. Hey, what's up? And thank you for watching this video. If you enjoy this video and this content, make sure you hit the subscribe button below, put the notifications on, and I assure you, you'll love this content and these videos.